Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Petros Fore. In this video, you learn about expanding algebraic expressions with double brackets. You'll be doing this using the FOIL method, also the GRID method. Please take note, by the end of this video, you will be at liberty to choose the method that most suits you. In some instances, you may use one method, then apply the other to verify if your answer is correct. We will start looking at the FOIL method. The FOIL method is a short for first, outer, inner, and last. By this, we are doing our multiplications in the order in which you multiply the A multiplied by the C. Whatever term is located on A and also on C are what you first multiply. So A times A, C, we get A, C. Then the outer, which is A times D, gives us A, D. Then the inner terms, B times C, whatever letter is given or a number, is represented by B and C. You multiply, then you get B, C. And finally, you multiply the last, which is B times D, and then you get B, D. Once you get this, you simplify all the terms that can be simplified. Let us look at the first question. We will be using the FOIL method to expand the brackets. So just like the FOIL states, we are multiplying the first. So which is x times x gives us x squared. Going on to the outer, which is x times 5, gives us 5x. Then the inner is 8 times x, which is 8x. Finally, 8 times 5, it gives us 40. So we now have this expression. As you can see in this expression, we have x squared plus 5x plus 8x plus 40. By this, it simply means we are able to simplify 5x plus 8x. So we are going to simplify and then we get x squared plus 13x plus 40. That will be our final answer. Let us then look at the second example. We have this expression which we have to expand its bracket. 2y times y. 2y squared. Remember 2y times y. y and y will multiply each other. Then we get y squared. So the second part will be 2y times 7. And this will give us 14y. So negative 6 times y gives us negative 6y. Then when we multiply negative 6 times positive 7, it gives us negative 42. It's always important to know how to operate directed numbers, especially the multiplication and division part. If you put positive 42 here, the answer will be wrong. Once we have done that, we can now simplify our middle terms and it will give us 2y squared plus 8y minus 42. So this is the FOIL method. Always remember to multiply the first and then the outer then the inner and then the last. Once you know the order, you should find it easy. It is time for us now to look how, at how the grid method works. We are going to multiply 35 times 78. Remember, when you are multiplying 35 times 78, you can actually split 30 and 5. So we are going to have 30 and positive 5. 30 plus 5 remember gives us 35 then for 78 we will write it on our grid like 70 plus 8 so by doing this we will then multiply the corresponding terms in this case we multiply 70 times 30 it gives us 2100 so the second part 70 times 5 it gives us 3 150. You can guess on our next step, we are multiplying 30 times 8, which is the same as 8 times 30. It gives us 240. And finally, 8 times 5 gives us 40. Once we have done this, we can add our numbers. So we add 2100 plus 350 plus 240 plus 40, and it gives us 2730. If you have a calculator, you can pause and verify if 35 multiplied by 78 gives you 2730. 
Using this method, we will expand an expression like this. x plus 5 multiplied by x plus 6. We are going to place our numbers in the same way like we did, remember in the previous example, we expressed our 35 as 30 plus 5. So we will, on the grid, place our x plus 5 in this format. Then, on the other end, we'll also put x plus 6. We are now going to multiply x times x. It gives us x squared. Then, x times 5. Positive 5, it gives us plus 5x. And then, on this, we get plus 6x. And finally, what is positive 6 times positive 5. It gives us positive 30. Once you have this layout, you can now write your expression as x squared plus 5x plus 6x plus 30. Remember, if you look at the middle terms, you can tell that these can be simplified. So you simplify this expression, then you get plus 5x plus 6x. It gives you x squared plus 11x plus 30. This is our final answer. Let us then have a look at this scenario. x plus 5 multiplied by x minus 2. We are going to do the same thing using the grid method. We arrange our numbers, our expression like that, and then the other end. Remember, this is x minus 2. So we have to put our x minus 2 in this format before we start multiplying. Let us now start multiplying. x squared, then here we have plus 5x. What about x times negative 2? It gives us negative 2x. Please be very careful with the sign. Then finally, negative 2 multiplied by positive. Remember, a negative and a positive always gives you a negative. So the answer is negative 10. After doing this, we are now going to extract and put x squared plus 5x then we do have negative 2x which means minus 2x minus 10. Once you have done this you are supposed to simplify. So when we simplify positive 5x minus 2x it gives us positive 3x. So our final expression will be like this. Okay you can see the difference between the FOIL method and the GRID method. And I want you to pay maximum attention to the end of this video so that you can have good skills regarding this type of questions. Let us now look at this question. x minus 3 multiplied by x minus 2. I want you to pause the video and fill in these expressions, remember it's x minus 3 and we have x minus 2. Can you quickly expand and let's see what you will get. It's time to review. First x times x gives us x squared. Then negative 3 times x gives us negative 3x. And also x times negative 2 gives us negative 2x. And finally, negative 2 multiplied by negative 3. A negative multiplied by a negative gives us a positive. So the answer is positive 6. Once you have done this, you are supposed to extract this expression. And then you simplify the middle terms. Negative 3x minus 2x. This gives us negative 5x. So our answer will now be x squared minus 5x minus 10. Right. We are going to continue practicing. We will look at this scenario. 2x plus 5 and x minus 2. We are going to arrange our expressions like this. And then we start multiplying 2x times x. It gives us 2x squared. Then x times positive 5. It gives us positive 5x. And we multiply 2x times negative 2. It gives us negative 4x. Remember 2x, this means it's positive. As long as there is no negative sign here, it means it's a positive. Then positive 5 times negative 2. The answer will be a negative and it gives us negative 10. We extract that and we simplify what's in the middle, which will give us x. Remember, we don't write 1x. 
If it's just 1x, we just say x only. So 2x squared plus x minus 10. That will be our final answer. I want you to pause this video and expand this expression. Let's expand the brackets. You arrange it like that and quickly expand and let's see what you get. It's time to review. 6x squared plus 15x minus 4. Remember, 2x times negative 2. It's minus 4x. So, finally, negative 10. So, you put that and you simplify. You get that expression. Well done if you got it. But if you had some problems, I want you to check and see where your errors were and try it again. And let's see if you will get it correct in the second attempt. It is time for an activity. I want you, there is the golden and also the green activity. Pause this video. Go through these expressions. You are free to use either the FOIL method or the GRID method. Or you may choose to use both to verify your answer. So go through this. And let's see how you will do. Pause this video for now. It's time to reveal. I want you to mark your answers. Check properly and see if you managed to go through all of them. If you made a mistake by any chance, please try again. Maybe you may choose a different method so that you see where your mistake could have been. Remember in mathematics, practice makes perfect. Time to mark the second part and check your work. Do any corrections. If you have made a mistake again, anyway, try with a different method. Remember, the more we do, the more we practice in mathematics, the more we perfect our skill. You should do the process over and over again. I want you now to go through these three questions expand the brackets please go through them you are at liberty to choose any of the methods we have dealt with in this session either the foil or the grid method post any comments below about your findings and please don't forget to like the video share with your friends invite your friends to like the channel so that they can benefit from all the activities that we are doing until next time have a pleasant day